welcome to Mrs. Shelton's art room. Today we're going to be doing Russian nesting dolls. Uh, you're going to need some colors or markers, a pair of scissors, a big piece of paper, um, something to trace circles with, like maybe if you have tape lying around the house where you find a cup or something that you can create trace circles for, and a pencil. So go and gather up some of your supplies and we'll be right back to get started. So this is a real Russian nesting doll. I'm going to be bringing this into class um, so that my students can see up close a hand-painted Russian nesting doll. I got this, oh, many, many moons ago um, on a trip to Alaska from a small town uh, that had a Russian settlement and there was an artist there who made these. So this is awesome and I love it and I've had it many many years of my life I just wanted my online students to also be able to to see what we were looking at in class so you can see all the details in the painting and the line work and that on this Russian doll you can see that they have a little painting on the belly all Russian dolls have something on here. Sometimes it's a design, sometimes it's flowers, sometimes it's a little portrait. And this is the biggest, the biggest one. Now to open it, it takes a little bit of strength. The lid comes off like this and you'll see there is a smaller one inside it just like this. And when I open this one, notice this one has a different picture on the front than the big one and it gets smaller. So you can put that up and you can set the dolls next to each other. Ooh, let's see if we can get this one open. Ooh, I can hear them cracking. And there's a smaller one inside and it has a different portrait on this one. You can see that this one has another one inside of it, just like this. Now, these actually have 10. This gets down to very, very small. But I'm not going to open them all today. I just wanted you to get an idea of how they all fit inside each other. back together the best we can and we're going to get started on our artwork inspired by these awesome dolls okay so I'm going to start tracing in my shapes um, when I first create my tracers I take a big piece of paper and I fold it in half and I draw a curved line and then cut it out and open it so I get kind of a symmetrical tracer. For any parents who are watching with your little ones, if you want to know how I made a tracer, that's how. Um, but we can also just hand draw it. Um, if I were to hand draw it, I would start with the big one and I would pick out my initial circle, put it in, and trace around the outside where the face is going to go. And I'd use that to help me draw the rest of the doll. So I'd put that in, and then I would go and draw a big circle around that to be the top part of our head. Go in, do another curved line to the bottom, another curved line, bottom, and our big dolls actually have a little base on them for the, the giant ones, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and trace in. I created some little circle tracers by tracing different objects around my house. So you can go around your house and create your own tracers if you want or just trace the object, but that's how I made these. So I'm going to go ahead and trace in my templates in a fast forward. So when we're coming up with the ideas of what you want to put on your Matryoshka doll, 
Think about selecting which face type that you would like to have. I have some options here that you can choose from. You can have simple dot eyes, you can have the half um, eyelid, we have some full eyes, we have different kinds of lips and different designs. I'm going to go ahead and do the half eyelid eyes. So I'm going to go into my big doll and I'm going to do a half curved line, kind of like frowny faces or rainbow shapes for my eyes. Put a nice circle in there for my eyes. They don't have to be perfect. Just drawing them in. Little nose. Let's get smiley face going. Let's get those, those rosy cheeks for the dolls. Little bird shape for the top lip. Curve line for the bottom lip. Going to add in a curve line here for her hairline. And go ahead and outline. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the handkerchief designs now. So we're going to do a leaf shape, curved line, curved line, and curved line, curved line for her little handkerchief. I'm going to have her handkerchief meet from this side to this side. More curved lines. I'm going to start adding in some designs. Let's do the uh, apron. The apron will need a big U shape. We're going to add curved, rounded, competitive shapes around the edge of our U. Getting some of those designs in there. Let's go ahead and decorate her bonnet. I'm going to do um, flowers, I think, and I'm going to have uh, dots, and I'm going to do curved lines around creating the petals. Okay? And they're going to kind of be half done flowers that look like they're going off the underside of the handkerchief around her head. I have some designs on the handkerchief on my big Matroska doll. I'm going to put in kind of the arms on the side and show you how to do that. So I'm going to do a curved line and one more, a little bigger this time. Come in and I'm going to do half a curved line and I'm going to kind of stop and then do a straight line across. Then I'm going to add in a hand shape. So I'm going to do a little thumb and then almost like drawing a mitten. And then we'll put lines in. I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to put in kind of a fancy little flower shape in the center of her apron here. So I'm going to start by doing a curved line right there in the center. I'm going to go and put a little wavy line here, like the center of a petal. Now I'm coming over here and I'm going curve line, almost like I'm thinking about doing a cloud, but then I extend it and I'm going to add 
curved line in here, and a little one here, almost like a tear shape. Is that another kind of tear shape? A little widened. Now I'm going to add in kind of my back petals here. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go way out here, wavy line. And I'm going to start another one here, making a petal shape. Let's add another little one in here, a little wavy line petal kind of back in there. Let's do my big petals in back. I'm going to start over here. I'm not being too particular. I'm just kind of creating a wobbly little petal line. This is some big petals hanging down. one bigger one on the outside here. Now let's add some leaves, a little stem, little leaf shapes, shapes coming out. Some more leaf shapes. Some leaf shapes up here. Let's add some decorative circles, fill in some of this space. to do color. So when you start choosing your colors, um, you can do some of your dolls using um, similar colors. Like this one I was staying with um, using lots of these kind of light blues and greens and creating patterns by skipping every other one. So it's got the blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. With this one I started coloring um, choosing to do all the flowers the same to create patterns. So wherever you color something, make sure that you color the same on the other side because we're going to have lots of repeating patterns. You can see in the little one, all of my dots are the same color. Okay, So yours can be colorful or you can have less colorful ones. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring these in. Uh, in a fast forward to see what they look like when they're all done. picture, we are going to cut them out and you're going to arrange them on a background. Now your background can be painted, it can be on construction paper, it can be paper that you've colored, but you want to create a background for it using solid colors. So you may choose two or three colors for your background. They need to be either warm colors, like here I've used two pieces of paper and I've chosen two warm colors which are orange and yellow but if I were to decide hmm, maybe I want my background to be in cool colors I chose a dark blue and a light blue so if I put them together you can kind of see what this might look like if I put the same ones on a different background see how different that looks so choose what looks best with your pictures glue them down and you will be finished with your amazing awesome Russian nesting doll artwork <laughs> 